I know you guys can tell I'm very excited. I don't know how to hold it in. What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. I'm your host Frankie and today we're watching Arrival. God, it's been a long time coming. I've wanted to watch Arrival for a long time but it kept losing on the polls. I don't think it's because it's an inferior movie. I just think it's based on popularity because it was against some really popular movies but we're finally here and Arrival is from Denis Villeneuve. I hope I didn't damage that name. I've only seen one of his movies. I've seen Prisoners one of the craziest movies I've ever seen. And then you guys started recommending some other of his movies. I already had Dune on my list, but you guys also recommended Blade Runner, which I'm checking out for sure. There's also Sincario, and I know Dune Part 2 just came out, so I will check those out very soon. What intrigues me about when you guys recommend Arrival is it always comes in the same wavelength as Interstellar. And if you've seen Interstellar, my reaction Action, you know that Interstellar is like the top five movies I've ever seen, hands down. And my whole thing is if Arrival is even half of what Interstellar was, I'm game. I'm game. Thank you all for clicking on this video. Shout out to my Patreons. You guys make it possible. Everybody here on YouTube, every little thing helps the channel so much. The like, the subscribe, hearing your thoughts, your comments, all of it. Let's have these conversations and be engaged. Appreciate you guys. Let's check out Arrival. I get so excited when I start watching a highly recommended movie. Because one thing I don't want to do is waste three hours of my life <laughs> watching a whack-ass movie. So I trust you guys and I also do a lot of spoiler free research like Rotten Tomatoes, IMDb, Metacritic. If a movie has an overall good consensus, good vibe, I'm like, I'm game. If not, maybe I'll watch it on my own personal time, but I've seen a lot of space movies recently. Like six space movies. I used to think this was the beginning of your story. Hmm. Memory is a strange thing. It doesn't it work is. like I thought it did. We are so bound by time. Oh, she's a mama. Oh, I can already tell this movie will be gas. Oh, brand new mama too. <laughs> Come back to me. Come, <laughs> Come back. back. To me. Come back to me. Pick mm. him up. <laughs> my tickle guns and I'm gonna get ya. <laughs> That's so cute. Is her is her dad in the picture? Cause the camera focused on her ring. In the middle. I love you. Mm. I hate you. Mm. Teenage life. Is she sick? And this was the end. What? Hey, yo, the movie Cancer. Come back to me. Baby, come back to me. She's dead? <laughs> what the? F We're four minutes in. Hey, yo. It's one of them movies, I'm huh? I'm not so sure I believe in beginnings and endings. Like the day they arrived. If they arrived. I know the movie is about aliens. I mean, it's titled Arrival. Good morning. Mm, college professor. Where is everyone? The story of Portuguese begins in the kingdom of Galicia. Is it because of the aliens everybody is not here right now? Any news you want to share? Turn the TV to a news channel. Dog. I always wonder how things like this will play out in real life. The object uh, apparently touched down 40 minutes ago. Just object. Like touchdown. This is trippy because I just watched watch uh, signs from M Night Shyamalan. <laughs> it's weird how I always watch similar movies back to back. I won't say more because of spoilers, but if you haven't seen Signs by M Night Shyamalan, check out Signs. Right now. Is that a freaking alarm? I'm excited, but this is also disturbing a little bit. Worldwide too. One thing about humanity, we're gonna panic. <laughs> Don't matter what's happening, we're gonna panic. Shit, I'll panic too. I love this shot. 
It's mostly trees, but good angles. I don't know, Mom. I'm watching the same news coverage you are. Dang, I just remember her daughter died. Well, Mom, please don't So young, too. You know how many times do I have to tell you those people are idiots? <laughs> I think I know what channel she's talking about. Well, do I sound nervous? <laughs> Exactly. So, you know me. I'm about the same. So how does she play into the whole thing? Is she a scientist or Mom, something? I'm fine. Bye. At least 1,500 feet tall. 1,500 feet tall. Can we please see the object? Oh, wow. They're everywhere. Which is... <laughs> of course, the earth is ready to blow, blow shit up. They look like eggs. Bro, she's sleeping like a baby. <laughs> While the whole world is panicking, that's crazy. Does she not just care anymore or... And I'm also curious how the loss of her daughter is going to play into the bigger themes of the movie. Because I don't think she's over that. I'm Colonel G.T. Weber. That's Forrest Whitaker, right? Of everyone's list when it comes to translations. So you still have top secret clearance. Guess why I'm in your office, I'm not at Berkeley. Wow. She's a language expert. I have something I need you to translate for me. Uh-oh. They've already made contact. Can you, can you understand us? Oh, they tried to make contact with it. A growl? He's actually communicating with them. Now you heard it. What do you make of it? Dog. Is that? Yes. Yes, it's them. Um, how many um, speaking? Interesting. Two. That's such an interesting Are question. Sure, did they have mouths? So how would you approach translating this? Phrases? Those are just growls, my guy. I, I, I don't know. I would right. need to be there to interact with them. With the Farsi translation? I didn't need it because I already knew the language, but this, this is... True. It's new to her. I'm not taking you to Montana. It's all I can do to keep it from turning into a tourist site. For I'm just telling you what it would take to do this job. Right. It's not a negotiation. If I leave here, your chance is gone. What do you mean her chance? You need her help. Colonel. I wonder who Danvers Before is. Before you commit to him, ask him the Sanskrit word for war and its translation. <laughs> That's a bar. <laughs> That's very interesting because I understand the colonel's perspective, like, it's top secret, you know, and when we take you there, everybody's going to want to go there. They got to keep it on a hush-hush. But from her point of view, it makes total sense. Like, she has to be there, like, feel it, feel the vibrations, everything. I am so intrigued at where this is going. I am so intrigued. That was scary. Oh, they came to her again? <laughs> I knew you guys were gonna come back. Gavishti. He says it means an argument. What do you say it means? A desire for more cows. Pack your bags. <laughs> Pack your bags. <laughs> She's awesome. I love that girl. She knew she was better than him. Now I can't wait to see that first contact she makes with them. Language is the foundation of civilization. It is the first weapon drawn in a conflict. Mm. It's quite a greeting. Yeah, well, you we wrote it. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's wrong. Well, the cornerstone of civilization isn't language, it's science. Ian is a theoretical okay. physicist from Los Alamos. Where are they from? And beyond that, how did they get here? Are they capable of faster than light travel? Binary sequence. How about we just talk to them before we start throwing math problems at them? I love that. This is why you're both here. I'll bring the coffee. I can't wait to see the amount of banter and arguments and arguments they're going to have. I think what intrigues me the most about the movie so far is of all the alien movies I've seen, I think this is the first one I've seen that I think the focus is going to be on communication. You know what I mean? Like interacting with them. I mean, they got a whole language specialist here, so I like that spin on it. And am I the only one, or is this movie really dark? Like, even the daylight scenes are pretty dark. I think that is less of a flaw and more of an artistic thing. I think it was intentional. Maybe it just adds to the overall vibe of the movie and the unknown. Because I'm having to, like, 
Squint my eyes to see what's going on. Dog, look at the pile up. Oh, these are people close to it. Like watching, they said it's 1500 freaking feet, yo. I wanna see it as bad as her. Ooh, this is a beautiful ass shot, man. Clouds pouring in, or is that just fog? Yeah, that's fog. And there are 12 of these. They already set up a base right in front of it. The score is freaking amazing. It's very haunting. Follow the captain to medical, and then we'll get started. Immediately, they're not wasting any time. Put these on, you're gonna wear them at all times. Clearance badges and whatnot. Have I mentioned how excited I am that this is about language? Sure. I am bilingual and I'm interested in languages. Same. When's the last time you did something stressful? Does now count? Just He's a funny guy. And give you an immunization dose that covers a battery of bacterial threats. Wow. They're taking every precaution. That's good. They have to make sure they're all taken care of before they make contact. We can't tell what they're saying when they respond to hello. So don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> That's why you guys are here. So, is there any physical contact with the, um, the aliens? Trouble saying, uh, aliens? There's a wall, like a glass wall. You can't get to them. Interesting. So it like a force field? So, have they already seen them? Oh, I'm so excited. My palms are sweating too, though. The suits are clumsy at first. <laughs> they are clumsy. The is it just me or. Was I the only one expecting her to be more excited when she heard about the aliens making contact? Cause I just assumed she's a she's this language specialist that like loves and enjoy languages and written books about it. So like I thought she would be more like pumped for this, but I can see she's curious though, very curious. Seems like it's a little hard for her to breathe. Oh, this score is so hunting. Freaking love it. Dog, it's just levitating above ground. Why is it hard for her to breathe and everyone else is fine? Every 18 hours, the door opens up at the bottom. Really? That's where we go in. Are the aliens trying to invite them inside? Because why else would the door open every 18 hours? Oh, they touched it. It just looks like a rock. That is crazy, being able to touch it. I hope the aliens are not hostile, like every alien in every single movie, you know? Maybe there's something deeper. Dog, it's opening. That is so interesting. It's almost like there's they're in space. Right. Is it gonna float? That is crazy. The gravity is different inside. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> I feel like a little science nerd <laughs> freaking going to a space museum for the first time. Alright, let's move. Time is wasting. So the ship has its own atmosphere. Okay, bring it up. That camera angle is dope as hell. Don't do that to her, man. That is crazy. <laughs> Of course he fell. <laughs> I love that he's bringing the comic relief. Same, brother. Same. This, you, this is what you wanted. You wanted to listen to them in person. I know you guys can tell I'm very excited. I don't know how to hold it in. <laughs> I 
Okay, that score brought my excitement down a little bit. <laughs> now I'm a little nervous. Hold on now. Dog. I'm so curious. I want to see what she will say or do or... Because she's the expert. What happens now? They arrive. They come? I think this makes sense because they do want to interact with them. The aliens, I mean. That is so amazing. Hey, yo. I'm sorry, this is why I run away. Are those hands or tentacles? Dr. Banks? Dr. Banks? Bro, relax, she's scared as hell. No way, they didn't show us? Bro, this is edging right there, bro. Come on, dog. I bet they can't believe what they just did. Am I fired? You're better than the last guy. Okay, what happens then? You go back in. Was she not able to say a word or something? It sounds like whales in the ocean. No? Except the crackle. I don't know what if that was the right word. Audio back at us on an unseen source. Interesting. Audio of what? Uh, it's bits of conversation from the room, uh, random clips of dialogue. We have nothing. Interesting. So they play back their audio to them. Interesting. Are the aliens f***ing with them? Because something I know about conflict like this, it teaches you a lot about yourself. So I don't know if the aliens are trying to teach them something. Look, I'm never going to be able to speak their words if they are talking. But they might have some sort of written language or basis for visual communication. You're smart. It's like bring all the options, you know? Dog, look at them. Uh oh. I wonder why they put a bird there. Human. I'm human. Are you? Are we gonna respond? Uh oh. Are they running away because you're a human? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, they're trying to see how much the birds panic, right? Oh, it's time to go. Mm-mm. Is that Miss going to write something? Dog. That is amazing. That's incredible. So before the sign came out, forgive me for just being a nerd right now. Um, if any of you watching are, are gamers and you play the Souls games, like Demon Souls, Elden Ring, Dan Dan Third, the door was just looking like a fog to me the whole time. Like the fog you touch to enter into a boss arena. But... When the sign came out, that looks like the runes from Elden Ring. <laughs> that just blew my mind. But that aside, this is why I think she's so important. Because just this little thing she did by just introducing herself like baby steps. Human wrote it down. They wrote something back. So like communication has happened. That's, that's freaking amazing. She's so happy. That looks like smoke. Nah, that's human. freaking amazing. Human. Human. <laughs> human. Wow, that's a different... She's like, slow down, you're going too fast. I love it. This is that excitement I was talking about. Of her being excited, being a language enthusiast. I don't want to take away from your success in there. 
Is this really the right approach? Trying to teach him how to speak and read? What? That's got to take longer. You're wrong. It's faster. She just made so much progress. Man, whose first and last question is how can this be used against us? Captain James mm. Cook's ship ran aground off the coast of Australia, pointed at the animals that hop around and put their babies in their pouch, and he asked what they were, and the Aborigines said kangaroo. And the point is? It wasn't until later that they learned that kangaroo means I don't understand. So I need this so that we don't misinterpret things in there. Otherwise, this is going to take 10 times as long. I love her. <laughs> I can show that for now. And remember what happened to the Aborigines. A more advanced race nearly wiped them out. That's a wild point to make, my guy. But I get where he's coming it's from. Story. But... It's not true. But it proves my point. <laughs> she made it up. <laughs> I love her times too. <laughs> There's our policy of being open with the aliens. Have you met General Shang? Oh, yikes. He's about to blow them up. Domino. Whatever Shang does, at least four other nations will follow. Luis, you have to gain ground today. Okay. You have a vocabulary list for me? I do. That's so much pressure on her, though. It's like, figure this out if you don't want them to blow up the aliens. These are all grade school words. Exactly. Walk. Help me understand. First, we need to make sure that they understand what a question is. True. The nature of a quest for information along with a response. Because we don't want to know why Joe Alien is here. We want to know why they all land. They're all here. And purpose requires an understanding of intent. I'm sorry to pause it here, but I love that she's literally taking him to school. You know what I mean? It's like you have to understand these basic things about language and communication because these motherfuckers are foreign to us. Like we have to understand the basics and why we need those basic words. So I love that she's literally taking him to school right now. And again, I'm not against the military guy. I know he has his own purpose here and what he's trying to do and accomplish in a timely manner for national safety and all that because i think in these reactions anytime i say something against someone in the military people come at me with their pitchforks <laughs> you're relaxed to have enough vocabulary with them that we understand their answer i get it appreciate you for Just... understanding her She's nervous. I love that though. That's so realistic. Like with her shakes and everything. And I love the addition of the bird. It's so ingenious. Because like birds, they usually sense danger and fly away. Louise. Louise, I am Louise. Oh. Is that a sign we've seen before? Maybe to indicate a question. I don't know. The bird is calm. Let her be, let her be. They need to see me. I love this. They need to see me. I love this so much. She's breaking the rules. I mean, I'm a little worried for her, but I think what she's doing makes sense. Like, let them see her. Oh, they're huge. Girl, I hope you're right. I'm rooting for you, though. It came to take a closer look. Can she go through it? Hey, yo. Are they gonna be freaking hand in hand? It's like a starfish. I wonder what the bird is doing right now. That's what I'm talking about, man. I am Louise. Ian, you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that is so Louise. cool. Screw it. Yep, take off your suit as well. Why the frick not? Everybody dies, right? <laughs> Everybody dies, right? No. I love this because she's such 
First of all, she's a civilian and she's a language expert, which means she's very open and knowledgeable about like communicating with like new people, people that are not exactly like her or look like her or speak her language. And I love that like at the base of all that human connection is just that communication like that. How do I put it? It's like that raw base level communication, like a hello or a handshake or you know, make yourself look as not intimidating as possible, right? So taking off the suit, getting close, taking her time, approaching them. I think that's, I think that's very, that's very lovely. She's showing them that actual human side, which I mean, you can tell that this is going to go better than the dudes that are about to nuke these things. You know what I'm saying? So I love that she brings that human side even to this like highly militarized uh, settings where everything is orders and principles and following every rules to the last um, minute detail. So I like that her human side has advanced their research or their goal way more than if they were following the rules. Ian. Louise. Who are you? It's step forward when she said you. Look at them, they look like knuckles. Uh, I hope they don't suddenly get aggressive. Oh no, two of them are spraying. They're both saying their names. I think those are their names. Dog. So what are we gonna call them? We're sinking Abbott and Costello. <laughs> This man said Abbott and Costello. Yeah, like it. <laughs> I had no idea a movie about communicating with freaking aliens will get me this excited. I'm just smiling from, from ear to ear. Uh-oh. I'm sure they're going to scold them. They're going to run test on them, huh? Uh-oh. She's sick. Is she thinking about her daughter or? Hmm. Interesting. Was she introducing her daughter to a horse? And we'll see how your blood test look. For now, I'm gonna give you another boost. Okay. Hmm. No I think radiation. she's okay. Nothing else we can detect either, but I'd give him a strong cocktail regardless. No, I'm gonna. You don't need to worry. Okay. Let's calm down. Wow, Let's this calm. is so real. It's not gonna happen. Dang. I love that they show that real human side, man. The kids and the wife are worried. I love that they're bringing back her relationship with her daughter from the beginning. I was hoping it would play a part. Interesting. Caterpillars. I love this because they've shown two scenes of her daughter being introduced to another like form. The caterpillar and the horse. Greek, hepta seven, odd foot, heptapod. Hmm. Who are they? Right. The heptapods leave absolutely no footprint. If they're scientists, they don't seem to ask a lot of questions. <laughs> For real. The next mm. most plausible theory is that Sheena Easton had a hit song at each of these sites in 1980. So we just don't know. <laughs> I love that theory better. <laughs> How do the they one about the hit songs. <laughs> They're following him. Unlike all written human languages, their writing is semisiographic, conveys meaning, it doesn't represent sound. Ah. Uh, dog, I, I can imagine that maybe some language guru is watching this movie right now and just amped up. <laughs> because you can just suspend that disbelief and be like, wow, if aliens are actually actually came to Earth and they're trying to converse with us, it's like, yeah. I think this movie is hitting on all the things that I was looking forward to that I was excited about, like the fact that the whole film is based on like just communicating with them. It sounds so like not very interesting, but the movie is freaking just amazing. It's just taking us through this like suspenseful journey of like learning about them. And I love that they're not hostile because every single alien movie, they're hostile in one way or the other. You know, I love this so much.
Their written language has no forward or backward direction. Linguists call mm. this nonlinear orthography. Imagine you wanted to write a sentence using two hands starting from either side. Right. You would have to know each word you wanted to use. A heptapod can write a complex sentence in two seconds, effortlessly. Expanding vocabulary. Louise thinks it could easily take another month to be ready for that. I love that they're taking their time with it. Which I don't think the military loves that very much. But I think they're fine since it's not attacking them or being hostiles, you know? Whoever's looking for you. Oh, well, why do you think I'm hiding out here? <laughs> All right. Come on Need up. some time to yourself. Away from the noise. You know, I was just thinking about you. Oh, where are you now? You approach language like a mathematician. You know that, right? I will take that as a compliment. I will yeah, take that as a compliment. I watch you steer us around these communication traps that I didn't even know existed. So, what? Right. I guess that's why I'm single. Trust me, you can understand communication and still end up single. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everything that happens in there comes down to the two of us. It really does, honestly. Yeah, it's a good thing, though, right? You and I? I'm glad I got you. <laughs> I love this. 800,000 march on Washington to protest the government's handling of the crisis. This is so real. First contact with about what people would do. That thing. And who do we have running the show? The government. That's right, folks. The same government who ruined our health care and bankrupted our military. Look at these people. Most of them don't even have guns. And our president is just willing to sit back. Stop eating that shit up, my guy. We are falling asleep at the wheel, people. You know what I'm talking about. I know you do. This is we one of them Alex Jones type. Forth. I'm talking about a shot across the bow. Mm. It's like we're making progress, but that's not enough for y'all. Y'all want to freaking blow it up with a shotgun. It's just weird. Mm, her name was Hannah. What's going on with her mind? Planet. Mm -hmm. We're getting into that's some interesting thing. stuff now. The Earth is a planet. Want to see a new project from Miss Garriott's class? Yeah, little nose. Is she reliving her old memories? We have to make up our own TV show. And who are those two people? June and Dad. The show is Aww. called Mommy and Daddy Talk to Animals. What happened to Dad? Something. That is not in the picture, huh? Um, you know it's okay to be sad that your dad you and know, I... I'm not. Mm. Divorce? I love you very much. I know. It's just a cartoon. Not real. Please? Please talk about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not sure it's something I can, I can explain. When was your last check up about the cat? I'm okay. Okay, let me hold my excitement in. Are the aliens making her relive her memories so clearly that she feels like she's actually there again? Kind of like having a hyper-realistic dream and you wake up and still remember it? Ooh, that would be fire. I don't want to make too much predictions because I don't like thinking about predictions because I spoil it for myself even when I'm wrong or I'm right. Maybe that's the alien's way of actually communicating through your memory. That's so sad though, watching your kid go slowly too. Damn. I remember this shot from the trailer when I watched it years ago. Mm. These aliens are up to something, man. Not feel? something bad, but oh, something. I need some sleep, but I'm fine. You know, I was doing some, some reading um, about this idea that if you immerse yourself into a foreign language that you can actually rewire your brain. In a sapphire wharf hypothesis. Interesting. The language you speak determines how you think and... Yeah, it affects how you see everything. See everything. Curious, are you dreaming in their language? That's a good f***ing question, dog. I may have had a few dreams, but I don't. I don't think that that makes me unfit to do this job. Hey, yo, is in there with her? She's dreaming. Hold on, that... <laughs> that went by quick. 
The voice you're about to hear belongs to China's military chief, General Shang. Uh oh. Pull it up. Did they intercept it? An hour ago, China mobilized forces. Now Russia's following suit. Shang's about to start something. Are they using a game to converse with their heptapods? Interesting. Maybe. Why? Well, let's say that I taught them chess instead of English. Every conversation would be a game, every idea expressed through opposition. Victory, defeat, you see the problem. Mm -hmm. If all I ever gave you was a hammer, everything's a, everything's nail. a nail. Ooh. We need to ask the big question. That's good. Ready or not? That's good. So essentially what she's trying to say is if you taught them language in terms of a game, their communication is going to be everything that consists of a game, right? Challenge, winning, losing, turns, penalties, all that in the third, defeat. Yeah, that could be bad for us. <laughs> Very bad. I got to go to work in like 40 minutes, but I... I don't want to leave this movie. <laughs> They're like, hey, our friends are back. They've broken it down to try converse with them. Conversation complete. And I'm sure now they can transcribe the language in real time. Oh, she can read it just by looking at it now, huh? What does it say? Uh-oh. Offer weapon. What you saw, what they wrote. Using a word they don't fully it understand. Really just understand. Just a a warning. Enough. We don't know hmm. if they understand difference between a weapon and a tool. Language right. like a culture is messy and sometimes one can be both. How do we clarify their intentions? Right away, we go back in and we, we clear this it's, up. It's more complicated. Then. Dog. Because now there's pressure on them because the other countries are also making advances as well and doing it in not so subtle way. So it's kind of like the sp space race, right? Like who wants to get there first? Or like how the atomic bomb was made, right? It's like who wants to get there first? And now their their asses are on fire because they got to come up with something quick. That is messed up. Anywho, I'm off to work. We'll finish this in a little bit. To consider the idea that our visitors are prodding us to fight among ourselves until only one faction prevails. There's no evidence of that. Sure there is. Let's right. grab a history book. British with India, the that's, Germans with Rwanda. That's human history, though. For it in Hungary. That's BS. That's human history. That's not... We're a world with no single leader. It's impossible to deal with just one of us. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but still, man. Because she made such a good point. Like, a hammer can be a weapon and a tool at the same time. What is going on? China and Russia are off the grid. They aren't speaking to anyone. Whatever they learned in their last Hello? session has them spooked. Wait, these are our Girl, allies. Colonel, you can't shut us Put down. Put us on radio silence. Do it. We received a message from the hep... Damn it! We need to be talking to each other. You want to talk to them? Find out right. what this means. This is just weird, man. China no longer trusts the aliens who want to divide us. Humanity must Yikes. be protected. Because here's my whole thing. I was thinking about it at work, too. Like, <laughs> I couldn't stop thinking about arrival at work. But um, I think at this point, some of the humans are just projecting, honestly. Either based on their history and how they conquered other people, used their weapons to divide us. It's like, nah, that is that is your tactic. That is a human tactic. That's what we do. Like these guys haven't shown any form of aggression whatsoever. I'm so interested about her dreams though, about her daughter. Are they not even communicating at all anymore? Oh, they're just doing their own thing. They're refusing to communicate. What the hell is that? Is that a bomb? Is that C4? Char detonation? Y'all are dumb as f Like, why? That was a bit aggressive, but... Dr. Banks, Come on, y'all. need to ask one question. Dr. Banks, you can't go back in. It's dangerous. Hey, Abbott. Oh, all you got is five minutes. Are you offering us something? Right. Hmm. Give technology now. Interesting. 
I love how she's rewording. Uh oh. They haven't done that before. Captain, on your ten. And I'll tap in the glass. Just leave them alone and let them work. Are those weapons? Avoid casualties. How do you know what you're about to do is not going to create casualties? They want you to come closer. I am so entertained. And amazed. You're trying to hold hands again? Right on the barrier. Right on the barrier. Wow. Uh oh, something's happening. Oh, her daughter. Hmm. Oh my goodness. They're doing it together. Now why would you want to shoot a gun at this? Humans are so dumb sometimes. Oh wow. So many messages at once. Wait, that thing is gonna detonate, isn't it? What is that? Hello? Who are they shooting at? Whoa. Wow, it saved them. Wow. So what was shooting outside or who was shooting outside? You suffered a concussion. Slow back. What the heck? Did the alien survive the explosion? How is Ian? Well, same as you. He's okay. Who was him? Who did this? Some soldiers. They've been watching too much TV. Yep. The ones that got radicalized? What is that? Of He's course they freaking kid. did. We're standing by to evacuate. Where's Ian? We can hope for the best, but I have orders to prepare for retaliation. We may have to evacuate. No, that's the wrong move. As long as they stay, we have to stay. What is going on now? Is it moving? Show us, please. They're leaving. Well, they're not leaving. Why does this feel worse? Because uh, some idiots made it worse. China is on the offensive. They're positioning their military to blow the alien vessel right out of the sky. That Tonight, is crazy. China becomes the first world power to declare war against the aliens. I love how these movies always like essentially give you an insight of what the earth will actually do when things like this happen it's like the panic the chaos the the readiness to use lethal force it's crazy man and he urged all other world leaders to unite with china and take a similar stance it's like they're not doing anything aggressive landing sites thought to be following china's lead dog we can't be random. Yeah. Hmm. Do those patterns create something? It's going to take us years. For real. Is it that the aliens sense uh, the threat and they just <laughs> gave out all the messages at once? Like, all right, y'all figure it out. We're out of here. Mom. Mom. Mm. Mm. Sweetie. Uh, what's this term where we make a deal and we both get something out of it? Uh, compromise. No... Quid pro quo. Like, it's a competition. Like a win-win. More science than that. <laughs> science, call your father. Ouch. I'm so curious to see where these memories, the crescendo of all of them. Sorry. Crescendo? Is that the right word? You cracked something, didn't you? It seems to be talking about time. A formula for faster than light travel. Hmm. I can tell. Then it dawned on me. <laughs> what did you find right out? Here. So I measured it. 0.0833 recurring. 
Perhaps you'd like that as a fraction. One of twelve. Yikes. What does that mean? What they're saying right here is that you're part of a larger whole. Or we're one of 12 contestants for the prize. Why do I have to talk to him? No. We're all working together here. Exactly. <laughs> to the other side. It says that all of the pieces fit together. And I'm telling you that no one else cares. Russia just executed one of their own experts to keep their secrets. Many become one could just right. be their way of saying some assembly required. Why? Hand it out to us in pieces. Why not just give it all over? Well, what better way to force us to work together for once? Ooh, I love that. What way to make us better work together? Because I think I said something earlier about like during conflicts like this, um, whatever the threat is, is is trying to make you learn something about yourself or like improve you in a way. So yeah, what way to make, what better way to make the world work with each other than having all everybody in one mind trying to solve um, the mystery? I love that line so much. You. How in the world are you going to get anybody else to play along and give up their data? That was a hard for part. A turn. A trade? It's a non-zero sum game. That's good. Non-zero sum game. That's it. Mm. Yeah. Thanks. I love how the memories of her kid is intertwining with the present. And there's no way for us to reach them. Hold on a second. There is. It's right above us. The That's messages. problematic for us right now. The Pentagon's convinced our shell will retaliate. My guess is they'll order us to evacuate within the hour. How do we get you back in that room when it's half a mile straight up? I think our work here is done. It's in the hands of our superiors now. Oh, she's gone. She's a woman on a mission. I think the aliens do trust her. Regardless of other... Exactly, they're sending a pod. What the hell is she doing? How did she know this? Did they put it in her memory? You're going up, baby. I love that. I love that the aliens still trust her. You are one brave soul, girl. You are one brave soul. Don't be scared. They're not gonna hurt you. At least I believe. Did they welcome her into the fog? She's inside the fog with them. Yo. Wow. Look out behind you. God, it's so dreamlike. They're not gonna hurt you. They trust you. Again, she was very human with them. Oh, wow, they're bigger than... Oh, my God. Face to face. Oh, they... They are way larger. Oh, that's Costello. Oh no. Don't tell me the bomb took out Abbott. No freaking way. Didn't she dream of this? The bomb took out Abbott, right? And still, they're not aggressive. I need you to send a message to the other sites. She has the weapon? What does that mean? Have they already given it to her? Use weapon. I don't understand. What is your purpose here? Is the mystery going to be revealed? We help humanity in 3,000 years. We need humanity's help. Right. How can you know the future? 
You really gonna ask them that? Her daughter's memories. Their memories. My brain is going a thousand places at once. It's telling her she has the weapon, she should use it. It's also telling her that they're here to help humanity and in 3,000 years, they're gonna need humanity's help. So essentially is the, what's the word that her daughter asked her? Where everybody wins in the end? That's essentially what they're offering, yeah? Who is this child? Who is this child? I thought that was her daughter. The show is called Mommy and Daddy Talk to Animals. Hmm. Are these memories of them in the future? Weapon opens time. No, no it can't be. It can't be. So she said, who is this child? Is that her child in the future? Hold on, dog. I... Too much is happening at once. My brain is wow, 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 wow. Are you all right? You all right? Yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. It's too big. Doesn't matter now. We have all It is to too big for real. Why? Russia and Sudan are following China. Could the girl be their kid in the future? Because this whole time, the memory of the little girl, like I was assuming it was her daughter, and the little time they spent together. But she says, "I don't know this girl." And then they played the whole daddy and mommy talk to animals. And the girl used Play-Doh to make something that looked like one of the aliens. So my brain is feeling like her brain now. I am confused. <laughs> Mom. Mama. Sorry, honey. Right. So this little girl. What day is it? Do you know, baby? Is that her so baby that passed away? Or a future baby? Are you going to leave me like daddy did? Hannah, honey, oh, daddy no. didn't leave you. You're gonna see him this weekend. He doesn't look at me the oh. same way anymore. That's freaking sad. It's my fault. I told him something that he wasn't ready to hear. Yikes. What, what was it? Believe it or not, I know something that's going to happen. I can't explain how I know it just do. I went Interesting. And daddy, he got really mad. And he said I made the wrong choice. What's going to happen? That she was going to die? It has to do with a, a really rare disease. Dog. And it's unstoppable. Kind of like you are. You're swimming. I man, my brain is melting. I know there's some time travel shenanigans going on here. It's almost like she knows the past and the future. Your poetry and all the other amazing things that you share with the world. Oh, I love their, I love their connections. Mm. Hi, guy. Oh. Right. I just realized why my husband left me. Oh, you were married. Let's get out of here. What? Oh shoot. Why are they all becoming sideways? I'm guessing it's go time, huh? Mama? Yeah. What's my name, Hannah? Hmm. Well, I can't wait to figure out what's special. going on. Because it is a palindrome. It reads the same forward. Spilt. Yeah. Kind of like the language that the aliens gave. So I don't know if her and her baby are in the future or in the past. I know I've made so many theories that could be very wrong, but I'm just so amazed at this. Mm, that's her book. Hey. To Hannah, wow. We're taking this with us. 
Yo, how did she know this? She's been teaching this for years. I can read it. I know what it is. What? It's not a weapon. It's a gift. Right. The weapon is their language. If you learn it, when you really learn it, begin to mm -hmm. perceive time the way that they do. So, so you can see what's to come. The way she is. But time, it, it isn't the same for them. We did our best, but it wasn't enough. Ian, Louise, it was an honor to work with. Good luck. Hey, right when she's cracking the code, everything is going to shit. I'm gonna find out where we're going. I don't think there's been a lot of movies that have been so confused yet so intrigued at the same time. Last time a movie had me like this was Tenant, Christopher Nolan's Tenant, because it plays so much with time and everything going backwards and forward. A pleasure. General Shang, the pleasure is mine, really. The only reason why I'm here is to meet you in person. Is yeah, this well, way in the future? It. Thank you. After the fact? You know, 18 months ago, you did something remarkable. What's that? You changed my mind. You're the reason. This unification, all because you oh, they didn't attack me on my private number. Your private number, General. I I don't know your private number. Now you know. I do not claim to know how your mind works, but I believe it was important for you to see that. I called you, didn't I? Yes, you did. Oh. I love this because I've seen something similar and if you just give me two minutes of your time, I think it will be worth it. If you have seen the anime Attack on Titan, you know what I'm talking about, spoiler alerts for that. But essentially in that anime, there is a guy that his power is seeing the future and seeing the memories of his future inheritors of his power. So essentially what that helps him do is decades into the future and see the memories of people who are going to inherit his powers and that helps him make changes to his life or things around him in the present and if that makes sense so that's kind of what i'm getting from here that in a way the aliens maybe made her able to perceive time so into the future she got his number at that party but now in the present she's trying to call him to call off the attack so is, is Donya like knowing what will happen in the future and adjusting your present to fit it that's the only thing that makes sense to me right now uh, which is intriguing as hell but i'm also very happy to be wrong about that sir there's a sat line here dialing china here what do you mean here like in this tent whose phone is it <laughs> yours it's your phone sir he's like i'm clearly not dialing china right now so Find out who's using that phone. What do I say? What do I say? Right. So she's the one who talked him out of attacking. Freaking brilliant. I will never forget what you said. What? Did what did she say? You told me my wife's dying words. Jung Jun. I'm the source of the phone call. It's in the clean room. Wow. What are you doing? Changing someone's mind. I mean, 20 right seconds. Now. You trust me. Okay. You trust yeah. me. Oh my god. Drop the phone now or we shoot. Drop it. Yeah. Duh. You are committing an act of treason. Man, shut up. Let her talk. Yes. Drop it. It's done. I'm done. Wow. General Shang, Commander in Chief of the People's Liberation Army, that China is standing down. China is stating that General all Shang intelligence they have received. And it goes back to what she said about like how important language is. 
you know what I'm saying? It's like whatever foresight or tra- uh, or time travel shenanigans that the aliens gave her, um, the gift is like kind of coincide with what she said about how language, just the importance of language and how language like starts up civilization and whatnot. It's like her telling him his wife's dying words literally saved them. Not just the aliens, but humanity from, from going into another war. Everybody's finally working together. Wow, they're all going back straight. Is that because the crisis was averted? They just vanished. My god. I need to watch like 15 video essays about this movie at this point. Such a unique concept. So how was she able to perceive the future and the past? Because something Jeremy's character said was when you learn a new language, it kind of changed the way your brain works and the way your brain perceives things. So was her learning the alien's language kind of supercharge her brain in a way where her brain can see the future and the past? This was the opening shot of the movie, right? So, Hannah. Yes, this Hannah. This is where your story begins. The day they departed. You're right. Wow. Despite knowing the journey and where it leads, I embrace it. And so I he was the father. Every moment of it. You. <gasps> so Hannah and. It was all in the future. So she told him Hannah was going to die. And that's why they separated. Wow. Yeah, that's him. He's the father. Right? Because they got together after the departure. Exactly. Yeah, no surprise there. Daddy. Oh man. You okay? Yeah, gonna roll over you. Alright, you ready? Man. <sighs> Cause she already knows. If you could see your whole life from start to finish, would you change things? Hmm. Maybe I'd Say what I feel more often. I, I don't know. <laughs> she did, and you left. Not blaming him too much, obviously, but... Now, I've had my head tilted up to the stars for as long as I can remember. Mm. You know what surprised me the most? It wasn't meeting them. Meeting you? It was meeting you. Yeah. Hmm. I was meeting you. Oh, it was them in the picture. You want to make a baby? <laughs> That's so forward. <laughs> mm. And it makes sense why she said <laughs> it makes sense why she said daddy don't look at me the same anymore it's cause he knows she's going to die and fuck damn 
I love how confused I was towards the end of this movie because it made everything making sense in the end just hit that much harder for me. It's like obviously the movie didn't have to explain the whole thing but just this idea that there have been breadcrumbs from the whole movie about like her name and how her name starts the same way it ends like backwards and how that was just a bigger hint for knowing the end of the story and the beginning of the story and also how the words or the symbols are have to be complete from both sides and all that and dog it it hurts my heart so much because from day one it's like she knew her daughter was going to die from cancer as a teenager and in that last scene i felt like when she asked him if you knew the end from the beginning and obviously if something bad was going to happen are you still gonna take that chance, essentially? And I believe that a part of her might have not wanted him to go through that pain or bring a daughter into this world that she knows is gonna die. But him embracing that just made her kind of willing to just live through it and enjoy all the greatness of it cup half full if you will nah this movie was fucking amazing i was so excited and jittery the whole time because the idea of them learning the language of the aliens and how that is the focus of the movie not the alien adopting them or fighting a war or like other sci-fi movies would take it 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 was based on language not just language but that human connection interacting with someone new even if you break it down to the smallest level like meeting someone from another country or someone who doesn't speak your language you know how can i show you that i am peaceful how can i show you i am loving how can i show you i'm trustworthy is by breaking down all the putting away all the excess stuff and just connecting with you as a human you know is the same way when you see two babies babies that have never seen each other before babies that don't even speak the same language when you put two toddlers in front of each other like they run towards each other like they play with each other you know and i love that that's what the movie focused on the whole thing about the time travel or just knowing the future and knowing the past and it all being connected like knowing the full story before it all starts oh my goodness i was tripping out because the whole time it's like the movie started backwards <laughs> Oh my god i love this so much and in the beginning of the movie i was talking about i can't wait to see how her losing her daughter connects to the rest of the movie and back then i was thinking her daughter died before the events of the movie but no like <laughs> it's after the events of the movie all that happens so in, essentially we were seeing the future from the beginning he is so smart dennis is so freaking smart like this is such an amazing concept and i love everything from how she had to school everyone about how they should communicate properly with the aliens uh teach them grammar like so we should not like misunderstand uh, the whole story she made about the kangaroo <laughs> which was funny she made it up but like it still helped prove her point very much and i love the whole i love the whole thing about like language me personally i will never send another intimate text message to anybody because language can be misconstrued so much like i need to be seeing you eye to eye face to face like i need you to hear the tone of my voice i need you to hear the I need you to hear my breathing like I, I need you to feel what I'm feeling when I'm talking because you can say one thing and it can mean 25 other things and I love how they emphasized on this that um, when you're talking about something serious as this make sure you get your facts straight make sure you fully understand because what she said about the hammer yes the hammer is a beautiful tool but the hammer can be a deadly weapon too it can be useful and deadly at the same time and i love how she stood her ground well as much as she could and obviously the movie made some really good social commentary about how people can be easily radicalized you know like the soldiers who blew up the ship because they were listening to you know i think they put an alex jones type person in there and how those soldiers easily got 
radicalized because things like this people feed people like that they feed off your not just ignorance but your vulnerability because yes there's aliens freaking floating on the earth like you should be worried and stuff like that but people like that they look for those vulnerabilities and they attack it and easily like radicalize you so like i don't i understand how that um happened that's some good commentary on that and man the, the beauty of it like she knew her daughter was gonna die but she still took that step because he was like do you want to make a baby and she was like yes knowing what will happen and it makes sense why they're separated because i mean as a father or as a parent like how do you and he believes her that's obviously why he left or why they're not together it's like our beautiful little baby girl is gonna die in so 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 years it's like it made sense when hannah said um why do you dad don't look at me the same dad looks at me different because it's not about her he can just bring himself to understand that man my baby girl is gonna die soon dog the scene of man this movie is beautiful like her knowing the future the chinese generals um wife's dying words for that to be what saves the world and save the aliens and i feel when it comes to what the aliens came to do on earth i feel like they um they solved the problem it's like having the world work together for once and in the end it happened arrival y'all this is a movie i'm gonna come back to many more times man this got me in the end boy my mm, this was beautiful finally I've watched Arrival. Now I see what y'all have been talking about. I freaking love this movie. I freaking love this movie. It's... Man, movies like this mean everything, man. Because so much of Hollywood and cinema has just been watered down. And it's just the same thing over and over. So, like, when you see people like Dennis, like, making stories like this. Man, shout out to you, boss, man. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, I definitely had a lot, but let me hear your thoughts. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Peace out.